Hello again. Welcome back. If this is your first time here, welcome. Please hit the subscribe button. I would super appreciate it. I'm a long way off from a thousand subscribers, but I love and appreciate every single one of you. So, welcome back and welcome and look at this monstrosity. So this is another one of the boards that was under my 3D pour. So the 3D pour itself turned out beautifully, uh, a, a beautiful tall green vase, but this, however, is just kind of a mess. So, and then the other side is also from another pour that it sat under. And, you know, it's unfortunate, the, unfortunate that I didn't know this at the time, but had I, I would have just done my 3D pours over top of my silicone because there are some nice spots in here for skins that I could have grabbed for making, making pendants or, um, um, magnets for the, you know, if, but I didn't. I didn't know that I could do that at the time. So I didn't even try to do that at the time. But anyway, now that I know that, I will try that with some of my other 3D pours. But as for this, he needs to be recovered because I don't like it. So we're going to start once more with our white paint. And this is my new house paint. I think I explained it in video 10 or something. It's just a signature series house paint, interior, exterior, exterior, blah, 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 blah. interior, exterior acrylic. <laughs> and this has got a definite, shoot, I forgot to level again. Dang it. Let's put that under there. I can see it's all running off that way now. Part of the problem is that this board has become a little bit warped. <laughs> Possibly because I've poured paint on it like three times now, or this will be the third time. Or it could be just because it's a cheap, it's a cheap skinny board. At, but it's good for practice, right? It's it's good for practice, and I. I need some practice. I don't know if you saw my last video, and I don't know if I've fixed it yet. I'm sure that I'll fix it before I post it, but it's the one where I where I tried doing the dip on the wooden coasters, and my paint was way, way, way too thin, and it just sunk down. And, and when, I, <laughs> when I squished the two of them together, it was just a holy disaster after that. So I just quickly scraped it off. Now they're sitting there drying and I thought, well, I still want to do a video and I still want to do something. So I thought, why not try and cover this little doohickey with something? So it's a little thin on the white paint yet. So I'm going to put a little more on there. I guess I ought to put some gloves on because I'm going to be a holy mess here in a minute. <laughs> I had to take the last ones off because I was sweating so bad. So I just have these nitrile gloves. They're supposed to be, oh, they're powder-free, non-sterile, latex-free. But boy, do they make my hands sweat. So, I don't know. I might go back to just dishwashing gloves. I have a small t hard time because I have really tiny hands. So I have to wear the smallest gloves possible. And sometimes you can't find them. Especially in the dollar store. They seem to sometimes be giant sized in there. So. Anyway, we'll be coming back and flooding this again. So I've been doing fairly well with recovering some of my paintings. However, I did run into one the other day where some of my base paint from underneath before I re-poured came through it my my upper layers of paint actually cracked and so I don't know if it was the silicone that was the one I put silicone in so I don't know if it was the silicone or if it was just pouring the paint on the paint or I don't know maybe someday somebody who actually knows something about this stuff will watch one of my videos and and leave a response and tell me I do try to find the answers myself 
doing research on on YouTube and stuff, but I don't always find the answers in time, and sometimes I'm just, you know, playing around trying to figure stuff out. So let's pop some bubbles, see where we're at here. This paint does have Floetrol in it, so it should kind of level, level itself out, but I think maybe I need a little bit more in a few spots here. I should have poured it into a smaller container. And I have a few spots where my board is kind of peeking through still. We don't want that. So I might even just be able to tilt it now. Well, no, let's. There's my stick. I suppose I should have pulled out my spatula for this. It would probably work quite well for this piece, being that it's so much bigger. Now I still, <laughs> I'm sure you've, if you haven't already, you have to go back and watch videos 11 and 12 because they will show you some of the fun I've had trying to get a blow dryer for a Dutch pour. I have not yet had any luck <laughs> having one work. So I'm not even going to try this time. I am going to try a Dutch pour, but I'm not going to try it with the blow dryer. I'm just going to blow it out with my bendy straws and and uh, we'll just go from there. So, all right. Well, my edges aren't done, but my top is looking nicely covered. I'm going to torch and I'm going to leave that for a minute to level out. And then I'll be back. Oh, well, I have let this level out a little bit and it's leveled out quite nicely. And I think what I'm going to try, so the colors that I have are, I have Christmas red, which is this nice bright red. And I have neon pink. <laughs> and I have some lavender. And these are all the paints I had mixed up that they're quite thin. So I think they'd be good for a Dutch pour. I think that I need to work with thicker paints to try to do a dip. I'll have to do a little more research, but I think that was my problem with my dip was my paints are too thin. So I think they'll be good for a Dutch pour. Anyway, this is a Hunter Green. I have a silver... This is just a deco art silver that I've had sitting around for a while. I don't know that it's anything. Silver Morning is what it's called. So, and then I have a, this is a Craft Smart acrylic paint, and it's a shamrock green. So I know that red and green don't really play too nicely together. Um, in looking at my color wheel, which I'm still, I'm not that I'm learning the color wheel. I know the kind of know the color wheel, but in, I'm just learning still how to blend colors. And uh, from what I've been told is colors that are opposite each other, like red and green are on the color wheel, tend to make brown. So I'm going to layer carefully, I guess, and hope that my red and green don't meet and make brown. So I think if I put a couple of layers in between them, so what I'm going to do is do a little bit of a squiggly little line here. And hopefully again my paint doesn't get lost like it did the last time. But right, we'll see. Okay. Let's try the pink. See, it is sinking in there quite a bit, isn't it? I don't know if it'll be enough. I think I need, I think I need more. Oh, and you know what? I bought a little microphone for this, for this phone. And of course it's not plugged in right now. I'll have to test it and see if it actually makes a difference when I'm recording as to whether it sounds better 
with the microphone or without the microphone. So I think what I'll do with my green is maybe go the opposite direction so that they're crisscrossing the other ones. Maybe? What do you think? I'll try it. <laughs> oh my goodness, I just, I, I mean, I love green and purple together. I really, really do. I love the two colors beside each other, but I do not want to end up with an awful brown mess. I think I'm not going to add the shamrock green because really it looks a little bit like... Uh, <clears throat> I don't know. You tell me. Can you see that? Where Where is the camera? There it is. It looks kind of like... A, there's a term that I would use for it, but not on camera. It has to do with something that you find in baby's diapers. Anyway, <laughs> I'm not liking that at all. So I think I'll leave it out. But I do have some silver. And I think I'll put it in. And I have a little bit of orange left as well. And I think I'm going to throw that in. So, I think with the silver, I'll go on the green line, just a little bit in here, and the orange, I'll go on the pink line, ah, slow down, Lori. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. My lines may be a little crazy. This may be a little crazy. I'm going to flood. I'm going to grab my bendy straws. Pop all my bubbles. Ooh, I'm getting some cells showing up. I say hello to my husband. Hello, husband. I love you. Want to be on my video? Nope. Want to come pour paint with me? Nope. <laughs> Go back to my room. <laughs> okay.